Hey guys, it's Daros Probs here, and this is episode 2 of modding the Bedrock Edition. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. And today we're doing particles, guys. Now this is so awesome. Get ready, look. What the hell is this? <laughs> look at that, guys. That is just so cool. I mean, imagine that in the middle of your spawn. <laughs> Anyway, I've spent ages on this, working out all of these different particles here. Now, this is all the particles I can find in the game. Now, I'll leave a link in... Well, not a link. A little list in the description so you guys can, you know, copy that or whatever you want. Um, Just to make your lives easier because it's spent. I've spent hours on this, guys. <laughs> but, anyway, this is going to help us all in the community. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is probably just run like a little trailer and just go through each one of these rather than talking through them. And the reason they're all orange is because I've left all of them orange. I'll explain why at the end of the video, okay? So I'll just run this through and you can see what particles we've actually got here and then I'll explain some more stuff at the end, okay? There we go guys, so that is pretty much it, um, these last three are actually particle number 11 which is my personal favourite, but I'm just showing you, you can customise these guys to any colour you want. Now I'm going to show you how to do this in a minute, okay, but I need to show you number 15 as well as you can see in the distance. Uh, so yeah, we've got bright green, bright yellow and bright pink here. So. I'm just trying to show you that you can customise it any colour, as you've seen at my entrance, you know, with this thing. So you can make rainbow effects. That is just particle 27, which is the potion one, as you can see over there. Let me get my hands back, there we go. That's this one. And I've just put 12 of them there, all in the same place. And all of these guys are all on radius 1, okay? Uh, so let's show you number 15 then. Let's get over there. So I had to hide this one away because you'll see, look at the size of this thing. I don't even know what this is. I'm guessing that's like a massive explosion of TNTs, but that is radius one. I don't know. Random, right? Anyway, I hope that you uh, like that little trailer thing. I think these particles are way better than the ones we're used to, but some of them are missing. I can't seem to work it out. I mean... A lot of them crash the game, so I'm lucky that I've found all these out. I've got a massive list next to me of all these different numbers and stuff. I've tried up to 56, I think I tried, and loads of the 50s just crash the game. So, from what I can understand, this is pretty much it, guys. And um, we got some new ones like Fire and this one that I really like. And like, <clears throat> sorry, you can even change the color of these. You know, it's crazy. But anyway, let's get on with a little tutorial and I'll show you how this is done. So I got the positions up in the top left corner. 
and I got a chest here. And that's pretty much what we used to do. So I'm just going to throw this lingering potion down. It can be anyone you want, as long as it's not water. And just throw it down like that. Do that. Save and exit. Okay? Pretty straightforward. And now we need to load up Universal Minecraft Editor. So luckily I've already got it down here. So I'm just going to click on Windows 10 and go on Particles, okay, which is my save. Go to Players, find my player, and here we got the positions, okay, so we just need to copy that. So minus 18, press Tab and you'll go to the next part. And it always rounds just things up, okay, so if it's above 5, put it up to, you know, like for example, I'll put up to 53. So we go there and we should find ourselves this, which is the area effect cloud, okay? And that's the potion I've just thrown. So you need to go in mob effects. If you don't want it to have the effect, which this effect I believe is regeneration, which I don't want it to, so I can just delete that, okay? Pretty straightforward. And you get a lot of these weird things again, like if it's on fire, if it's saddled, I don't really know why this is coming up like this, but whatever, we just ignore that for now. Uh, this is the radius, so let's just, for this example, set this to 5. Same sort of process, set this to 0, set this to 0, because we don't want it to change radius over time. We want it to keep it normal. Now, this is quite important. I don't know if you can delete this or not, but this is like the uni uh, UUID that we're used to. Now, when I was making the particles, I had to keep changing this. Say, if I ch made another one, I'll make it 2. I'll ma if I made another one, I'll make it 3 four so on okay just make sure you change that or else it won't work if that makes sense go away stupid agv <laughs> uh this is the cool one okay this is particle color now this is new now this is how you make whatever particle you want change color now down here i got google open and i've used this in the past this is minecraft armor color generator I'll put a link of this in the description. If you came down here, you can change these colours of your armour. As you can see, look, I can change it to really bright aqua if I want, or like a pinky, purpley colour. Um, for this example, then we'll do... Uh, let's just do this horrible dark purple colour. So all you do is copy this number, basically. So copy and paste. That's all we have to do. So I've controlled C that. Go back onto your programme. Get rid of that, paste that in there, and now that whatever particle I choose will be that horrible dark purple colour. Okay? Now, for my, for me, I think the best one, I'm, I'm going to try Love Hearts, I think, guys. Okay? So I know Hearts is number 17. Okay? So that should be Love Hearts. Now, this is quite important. Normally, what we would do is do this or something like this, yeah? That doesn't work, guys. Okay? You can't type in that big number anymore what I figured out is you can only do this many so it will eventually run out but I mean this is pretty much unlimited set this to 10 I mean I'm not 100% sure if you can go higher than this because when I was doing it I was making it go really high and it some of them aren't working and I think this is affecting it so I figured out you can only do seven nines basically for now Maybe you can do more. I'm yet to test it. But that, to me, is a really high number anyway. So, you know. But guys, that is pretty much it. So let's save. And we'll just X out of there. Load back up our particles. And we should have this horrible dark purple love hearts in a five radius. Fingers crossed. Come on. Oh, yeah. But the effect's still on because obviously I was standing in it. But as you can see, guys, look at that. <laughs> Isn't this just great? The customization on Particles Now is unbelievable. I mean, if you were making a Valentine's map, this would be perfect, wouldn't it? You know, I don't know. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I'm Dan Ross Probs, and catch you in the next one. Bye!